There are tons and tons of different shells in our games, starting with simple metal slugs and going all the way up to the state-of-the-art ATGMs. If you're just starting out, such a huge arsenal might seem a bit intimidating. Don't give up yet. We're here to tell you all the basics you need to know. It's slightly off-topic, but first of all, on most vehicles, especially in RB, you don't want to go in the fight with more than between 12 and 20 shells. That will be more than enough. And with that many, your ammunition will be stored only in the safest places inside your tank, and the chances of survivability will soar. With that out of the way, let's discuss shells themselves. One of the most common rounds in the game is the simple armor-piercing high-explosive shot. This one with a sort of explosion in the upper corner. It goes through armor, but it also has explosive filler inside, allowing it to explode after penetrating enemy armor. This way, you can eliminate enemy crew, destroy modules, set fire to the engine or fuel. Very useful. This type of shot works wonders on low to mid ramps. It'll get rid of anything you see, and very often you won't need more than just one good shot. That's until you run into serious armor. Then you'll have to carefully aim at vulnerable spots, or switch to heats. These shots, or at least their basic variant, have an arrow on their icon. More modern versions might look like this. One of the best things about this shell is that it doesn't lose its penetration potential even on very long distances. Furthermore, it's pretty good at penetrating armor and wrecking things inside. There won't be shell fragments flying everywhere, but you'll still be able to destroy modules in your cone of effect. For instance, a heat shot can still ammo rack an enemy. Be careful though, after penetration, Damage can be a bit on the punctured side, so you have to aim carefully. Also, keep in mind that it's not just enemy armor that causes your shot to explode. Any kind of sturdy obstacle, like a building or a tree, will also make it explode. Be wary of that. By the way, an anti-tank guided missile is basically a heat shot with a twist. A heat that you can control in flight. All in all, Heat rounds are best to use against heavily armored targets. Try to land your shots in the way that maximizes damage to modules and crew. A gunner should probably be your top priority. Not all vehicles have access to heats, though. Let's speak a bit about armor-piercing shots and APCR rounds and their more advanced variations. These shots are amazing at penetrating enemy steel but won't create as much shrapnel as the APHE shells. To put it simply, as there is no explosive filler, the only damage you deal is damage with the shell itself, as well as with the fragments of armor it penetrates. A solid shot is the simplest AP shot you can get. It's little more than just a metal slug. The British are especially fond of this type of shell. APCR is a trickier beast. It has a very dense core in a softer shell. This round is used to fight enemies that are all armor. Compared to conventional AP shots, APCRs have better penetration rates, but aren't that good after penetration damage. As you already know, there's no explosive filler, so it's pretty hard to cause a fire or to detonate enemy ammunition with an APCR. On the other hand, this shot, especially its more advanced versions, the APDS and the APDS-FS, have better ballistics and perform better at long ranges. Basically, these are your shots for long-range sniping. A few words about APDS-FS, or Armor Piercing Discarding Sabo Fin Stabilized Round. You use it just as a normal APCR but only against the most heavily armored of the most heavily armored of targets. It easily pierces the toughest of armors and, thanks to its high velocity, is a joy to use at long distances. But you guessed it. Don't expect much after penetration damage. We're speaking not just landing shots at vulnerable spots, 
you'll have to target enemy crew members or important modules specifically. Hesh shots are even more special than that. That's those shells with yellow caps. Hesh has its own way of interacting with armor. It doesn't aim at penetrating it. Instead, it gets its plastic explosive plastered all over the enemy armor. Then it detonates, creating loose metal fragments on the other side of the armor that wreak havoc inside the target vehicle. Yep, you basically get rid of enemy crew and equipment with the help of their own armor. Neat, right? There's a big downside though. The effect of your shot can be nullified by any kind of screen, even a simple track. To make it count, aim at places with thin armor and keep in mind that it works only on the affected armor plate. At the same time, Hesh rounds are great at fighting opponents with heavy angled armor. We're bound to say at least a few words about high explosive shots. The ones with a big explosion on their icon. HE rounds make short work of enemy with light armor, or no armor at all. They deal massive damage, eliminating enemy crew and destroying modules en masse. If there is an SPAAG or an exposed light tank pestering your team, use an HE shot. The bigger the caliber, the greater the fun. We mean damage. All in all, when choosing ammunition for a mission or during a fight, think of enemy BR and enemy capabilities. What type of armor does the target have? How thick and angled is it? Is there add-on armor? Where are important modules located? Answer all these questions and get yourself the best available shell for this situation. The victory will be yours.